get to work. Okay. show or whatever's wrapped up. I wonder what it was like. I'm kind of curious. Oh, you want to go see one sometime? We can do the Featherman show. Once we get in the castle, we're headed straight for the roof. Are you ready? Coast is clear. Let's make a break for the top. I'm kind of surprised how easy it was to get inside. A little quiet for a castle. That's not normal, is it? I don't think so. I've got a bad feeling about this. This is usually when everything goes wrong. What's this light? It's so pretty. But what is it doing? Uh, whatever it's doing, it can't be good. Intruders detected. Executing forced removal. Wait, is this thing a teleporter? It's a friggin' trap! We gotta bail! Wait, Skull! If you try to leave the circle... You'll get ripped apart? You gotta be shitting me! It seems we've been forcibly teleported somewhere. Ugh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm warp sick. What, so we're locked up? Ah, man, I feel like getting caught's all we ever do. We have to get out of here. And hey, just try to stay calm. In times like these, the best thing to do is to carefully... Ch the door's open on the other side. I wonder if there's a way for us to get... Joker, what did you find? Display. Score! Now let's 
the jerks that sprung the trap on us? I guess we should say thanks! Quit resisting and get... Persona! You're mine! This one! Okay, okay. There, this one. There. This one. This. Persona! Take this! The enemy stop! Send it off with a nuclear attack! Grab it, sir! Don't forget it! The 
This elevator looks like it'll take us up, but we've got it on lockdown. There must be a mechanism to release it somewhere. This must be the security room. It looks like we can unlock that elevator. So if we release the lock, we'll be able to keep going up. Can you hack it, Oracle? Of course. Just give me the word. And don't forget to cover my six. All right. I know. Keep it moving. Yes! Elevator's working. Let's head on up. <laughs> we should be able to ride all the way up to the top like this. Maybe we can do the mess before we get there. Uh, guess that would have been a little too easy. Come on. Let's greet our guests. Getting lots of shadow readings here. You guys are just gonna have Let's to hold go. out.
Yeah, this one. Yeah. Persona! Grab it, Seth! Got it! Now! 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 Now!
attack. Okay. The enemy's no pushover. Target is weakness to win. That one to me. Wake her up. Let's go! You're mine! Got it! With no weaknesses! It's showtime! Go for it, Joker! Showtime! Allegor! Here! really high. I can't even see the top. Well, given Kanoe's elevated opinion of himself, I'd say this is par for the course. Yes, we're going up then. We gotta get those desires back. No shadows. At least, not by you. I'll do it. My stamina is very Switch low. Oh, this could late. be That's dangerous. Right. Yeah. has one too every jail we've seen so far has but why would kanoe's jail possess one is he not the mastermind behind all this i don't know kanoe is supposed to be the one who created the jails so he would have to know how they work it wouldn't make sense otherwise in which case the only explanation is that he's trapped himself here with trauma of his own why would he do something like that it could be necessary to creating a jail. Does that mean Kanoe's got some dark past too? A guy that confident? I don't know. Doesn't really fit his image if you ask me. So what's the plan then? You said we need a key if we want to open this thing, right? That's correct. And we can get a hint as to its whereabouts by touching the birdcage. No, let me do it. I could use the experience. Good luck. Make sure you don't let go right away. Don't go crying on us, Gramps. Huh? Yeah! Oof. Listen to that wolf howl. I've heard stories of cries that could shake the heavens. Could this be one of them? It's almost operatic. You guys don't even know, man. That shit seriously hurts. Quiet. I hear something. <laughs> Abuse? Please, that's ridiculous. We do have a dog. Maybe that's what they heard? Right, Akira? Hey, whose voice is that? It doesn't seem to be Kanoe's. But he said Akira. Isn't that Kanoe's first name? Whether it was your dog or not, Kanoe-san, 
We got a tip that you've been physically abusing your son. Apparently, Aki Raccoon has a scar on his arm to prove it. Look, he fell over. How many times do I have to say it? Are we done here? I'd like to be left alone. You little shit! You see all this trouble you're causing me? Keep your goddamn mouth shut and do as I say! How was that? Kanoe's past. We were viewing the trauma he keeps locked away in his heart. Trauma? There, there. Good boy. Who's a good boy? What am I, a pet? Sheesh. You guys could have warned me about that. Well, it's not like you asked. <laughs> I feel like I've heard that excuse before. Yeah, from yourself. Getting back on track. I heard one of the voices mention something about abuse. Was Kanoe abused by his father? That's terrible! It's pretty messed up, but it doesn't justify all the skeevy shit he's been doing. Indeed. What's past is past. Nothing changes the fact that Akira Kanoe is an incredibly dangerous man who changes others' hearts and robs them of their free will. Right. We've got to stop him. So if being abused is the source of his trauma, then... What exactly is his plan here? I'm just gonna have to ask him about it. Up close and personal. Yeah, but first, we need the key to the birdcage. Let's head back to the real world and try to find the source of that voice. Hey, Joker. Was Kanoe really treated badly by his own father? Senkichi and Akane were on bad terms. But nothing like that ever happened between them. Why did that happen to Kanoe? Aren't they family? So some humans are just like that then. Joker, do you think family is important? Yes. I feel like I understand. If I ever get family or friends, I want to support them as much as I can. I learned that from the Phantom Thieves. I wonder how Kanoe must have felt back then. Hey, come on, you two. Let's get going. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go, Joker. This is the place. So, this is Akira Konoe's family home? Do you suppose Konoe's father still lives here? Mm, no. He died 20 years ago. What? I found some police records of an incident that happened here back then. A burglar forced his way into the home and stabbed Konoe's father to death. How tragic. Most items of value were gone. So it was ruled as both a robbery and a homicide. They never found the culprit. And... and what did Kanoe do? 
He lived here too, right? He was eight years old at the time, and was the only survivor. Apparently he managed to hide in a closet. If this is the birthplace of Kanoe's trauma, we'll probably uncover the truth about his father's murder as well. Yes, let's do what we came here to do. I'm inputting the keyword now. Everyone, get ready to enter. This room. Are we inside the Looks like it. Twenty years into the past. Whoa! Who's that? Is that... Kanoe's father? You little shit! What do you think feeds you every day, huh? I swear you're just a bill. All you do is eat up my hard-earned money! <laughs> Joining your mother soon enough! I'll kill you! It's like I'm some kind of joke to people. You wanna die? Trust me, I'll be glad to get rid of you! <sighs> this guy's sick! He really killed his own wife over some money? Unbelievable. That monster! How could anyone do something so awful? Persona! You're mine! Persona! Grab it, Seth! Strike! They're pitiful! Give them a 
This is why Kanoe was trying to become a hero. Because no one was there to save him? That's terrible! Persona! Ganesha! Fortuna! She's a set! She's a set! She's a set! Fortuna! Valkyrie! Ganesha! Queen Mom! Neko! Hello, Gumaga! Arsen! Persona! This one. There. Okay. Persona! 
Shisa, Roger, for two drops for Kanesh, Queen Ma, Nika, Queen Ma! Let's go! Kanesh, drop her for two drops for Kanesh, Shisa, are set! You're mine! The enemy stopped! Send it off with a nuclear attack! When we put that ass wipe in his place. Akira Kanoe. <laughs> if what we just saw actually happened in the past. Then Akira Kanoe escaped an abusive childhood and avenged his mother by killing his own father. He must have framed the entire thing as a robbery in order to avoid suspicion. You're saying he's a victim of some high and mighty shitbag too? He must have felt so trapped. There was nobody he could turn to. So he set out to become his own hero, and the power to change hearts helped him do just that. It's just too sad. There had to be another way. There just had to. Hey, cool it. Whatever his past was, it doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nothing makes it okay for him to take control of people against their will. If we don't stop him now, more and more people are gonna get hurt. You're all thinking the same thing, aren't you? Sure. But you're all still set on doing this, right? Right. If we don't stop him here, then nothing's ever going to change. Let's do everything we can for now. While it's true we need to change Kanoe's heart, let's not forget we also need to save those whose desires he's stolen. And it's time we bust out the calling card. Oh yeah! That's kind of your thing, isn't it? Yeah! We'll change his heart and take back everyone's desires! Okay, let's head back to the car and come up with a plan. So, about the calling card. How exactly do we want to do this? Hmm, we need a place where we know Kanoe will see it. What about sending it to his company? The police will probably be crawling all over the place. It's too dangerous. After all that stuff he said about us on TV, I'd really like to stick it to him good. Give him something he'll remember. Could always try pulling a repeat of Shibuya. Huh? Where'd Gramps go? He said he had something to take care of. He's probably with Akane. Let's just leave them be for now. 
All right. Well, maybe we save the calling card planning for tomorrow then. How come? I mean, you know, because Zenkichi's part of the team now, isn't he? I feel like he'd be missing out if he wasn't here for his first calling card. Plus, he's kind of got a lot invested in this after everything that happened to Akane. That's true. All signs point to Kanoe being the one who turned her into a monarch. Zenkichi's definitely got a bone to pick with him. Yeah, probably, but I'm kind of curious to see what calling card Gramps comes up with. Me too. Alright, we'll figure out the calling card tomorrow. It's been one intense fight after another, so let's get some rest and get back to it bright and early. Hey, is it just me, or has Yusuke not said a word since we got back? <sighs> wow, out cold and still standing. Dude's got all sorts of weird talents. <sighs> Commissioner Kaburagi? You look better than I thought you would. How'd it feel being on the other side of an interrogation for once? <laughs> I managed to pull through. Guess I'm getting a little old for this, huh? More importantly, though, I heard something interesting from the Nijima lawyer. She told me the reason she was able to get me out was because she had help from a certain someone. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Anyhow, would you have business with me? Commissioner, I'd like you to help me. I'm going to arrest Awada. He's been behind the scenes with each and every change of heart case. Akira Konoe is the one who commits the crimes, while Owada sits back and capitalizes on them. They plan to cover up the truth by putting all the blame on the Phantom Thieves. I think they've even changed the hearts of some of us on the Force. And I'm talking pretty high up the chain of command. Hmm. If we don't act now, we'll never be able to stop them. Please, Commissioner. I can't do this without you. Do you have any evidence to bring Awada in? I'm on the verge of getting Konoe to confess. If we do that, we can expose all of Awada's crimes. You really think Konoe will talk? He'll crack. I know he will. How can you be so sure? Are you planning to use the Phantom Thieves to change his heart? Sorry, but... I just can't tell you. Commissioner Kaburagi... Do you remember what you said to me back when Aoi died? You told me you would cleanse this whole rotten organization someday. And that I just had to wait for the right time. That time is now. Please. I need your help. <laughs> You've changed, Hasegawa. Your little stunt cost me my chance at Senior Commissioner. Even my current title is in a state of uncertainty. I need to do something to restore my credibility. If I wanted to, I could serve all of you up to Awada on a silver platter, and he'd owe me everything for it. Did that ever occur to you? <laughs> Your sense of justice would never allow it. <laughs> my, my. You have three days. If you say you can do it, then by all means, make it happen. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. And... I'll give back your badge as well. Uh, are you sure? Fair warning. If you screw this up, I'll be covering my own safety above all else. No second chances. Do you hear me? I won't forget this, Commissioner. Shall I follow him, ma'am? Forget it. He'll just throw you off. Actually, I have a more pressing task for you. I want you to find out everything you can about the Commissioner General. The... Commissioner General, ma'am? I'm not one to pull punches. Never have been, never will be. So, you're sure the Phantom Thieves have been dealt with, yes? Yes. They're being held in the jail as we speak. I've got Emma keeping an eye on them. Well done, Mr. Kanoe. There really is nothing that can stand up to you in that AI of yours. 
please. None of this would have been possible without your assistance, sir. Emma will show us the way forward. Now, I may be getting a little ahead of myself, but what say we have a celebration of sorts? I'll go ahead and reserve us someplace nice. I think you're in for a real treat. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Till then. Call ended. Filth! Flapping those fat jowls of his. Roaches like him are the very reason why this world needs someone to enact justice. You are absolutely right, Akira. We'll have to hurry with making Operation Oraculi a reality. More importantly, how are things in the Kyoto Jail? No issues to report. The Phantom Thieves are still under confinement. Very well. And, uh, just so we're clear, there's no way to change their hearts. Is that correct? That is correct, Akira. It is impossible. Well, if you say so, it must be. We'll just have to let them rot, won't we? Now, to wrap this up. At this point, nothing can stand in my way. I'll take over this entire country. No, the whole world. So, I heard you guys were waiting for me to get back. You guys are surprisingly particular, you know? It's the first calling card we're sending out since you joined. Figured you'd want to be there for it. Well, it's not like I haven't helped out with one already. It doesn't seem like that big a deal. That's why we have a little proposal for you. Why don't you write this one, Sunkichi-san? Uh, me? But I've never written one before. Yeah, but I don't think I want to. All right, that takes care of the calling card. Now we just gotta figure out how to send it. Hey, I didn't agree to anything. He's so comfortable bad-mouthing us on TV. Maybe it's time we gave him a taste of his own medicine. Copy the enemy's strats? <sighs> how about an online broadcast? <sighs> you need more impact. Could we just hand deliver it, maybe? If we want to get arrested, yeah. What do you think? 